Hello everybody, my name is Edgar and I am from the Bang Group. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Loot Components within Word to collaborate with your peers in real time. In this video, we'll be reviewing how to create and use Loot Components and sharing Loot Components for collaboration. Whenever you're working on projects where there are multiple people involved, it can become difficult to communicate effectively. Loop helps bridge these gaps and provides ways of communicating with team members easily within Microsoft Word. Before we get started, I just want to state that this feature is currently exclusive for Wood for Web as of September 2023. So make sure you're using the right version before proceeding, or you might not be able to see the same features I'm presenting today. So once you're on Word for Web, um, in order to add our loop components onto our Word document, we will go up to the top ribbon and click Select, and then Loop Components. So there are three different uh, loop components that are available to us, and those three are checklists, task lists, and pulls. So once we add these components onto your page, it'll look something like this. Now that we have our loop components on our document, now we can start adding content onto them. So for example, here we just add a title, let's say a uh, software development task list. Um, we start adding names, tasks, let's say uh, clean of code, and then set up meetings. And here's where the magic happens. So once we assign tasks to people within like, let's say a loop component for task management, we could assign this to Alex Wilbur, which is a, an employee at our company. Add that here, and then we can also add different people. Let's say we want to add Megan, and then add it here. So whenever you mention people or you add people in, within your uh, loop component, it automatically shares it to those people. So what that means is that they receive a notification, letting them know that you've shared or mentioned them within the loop component. And if you use a loop component within Word, it will share the loop and the Word document as well. So they can come in here and also collaborate on your own space. Um, let me show you an example of what that looks like. So for an email notification for Megan, since we notified her, it'll look something like this. It'll get an email coming from you saying that you've mentioned them within your document and they could go onto the actual Word document or the loop file right here. You can also share these loop components as an embedded feature within Teams, Outlook, and Whiteboard. So one useful instance for this is using loop components within Teams. So the way we do this is we copy your loop component that you want to share. And then once you've copied it, we could go into Teams. So let me bring this up real quick. And within a chat or channel, you can go onto the uh, message input area here and then copy, copy and paste the loop component that we copied back in our document. So once we paste this into the text field, this will load up and we're able to send this out into our chat. As we can see now, it's embedded within our chat and people are now able to collaborate within this loop component. So the way this works, um, people within the chat will have this shared with them and that's how they're able to collaborate within your loop component. You can also see who has access here on the top right if you're curious to see who can view, edit, and share. So now you know a neat new trick for collaborating in Word and sharing your loop components across different Microsoft 365 apps. Please make sure to like this video if you find it helpful and follow the Bain Group channel to keep up with new Microsoft updates, including upcoming new autopilot updates coming for loop as well. Thank you.